could keep going for Borg. Oh! Oh! Oh my word! Oh, Siro went down really hard, and Borge was incredibly skillful to keep it up. That was some skill. I don't know how he stayed upright. I have no I idea. He was totally sideways. Well, what happens in this sort of situation? That's a nasty one. Look at that. Well, what happens in this sort I of think situation? It was just a, that was just a racing accident. It was yep. a, an accident. I don't think it was intentional on any rider's behalf, but uh, it is a shame to see him go down. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes. The if anything, that was Siro that initiated that move. Oh, how wow. how Borge pulls that oh. off? That is impressive. A lot of riders have come down and uh, that means the race will be neutralized for a period of time that was a very very big crash play watch this the riders came down suddenly right in the front riders going everywhere the american rider hit the deck really hard accelerating away here there's a crash at the back, but Hoy takes the gold medal. Hoy takes the gold medal. They're actually running to the line here. Peralta is running to the line to claim his place, but he should have his bike with him, I think. Or is he trying to get up to Dawkins? Here we go. Dawkins limps over the line. Well, I reckon that makes him third in the race. And he needs his bike. Here he comes. Peralta's going to come to the line. Remember, the clearing's all about honour. You've got to finish. Now, I think Peralta is fourth on his tyre. It's come away from the rim. Look at the state of Dawkins' jersey. He to run off the challenge of Mears. Mears started to come on to the shoulder. Now a Pendleton, but Pendleton's working really hard. Trying to hold off Mears as they come. Oh! Down the finishing straight. There's a crash there. Mears wins race one. And Pendleton has slid all the way down the finishing straight. In the last kilometer, Guerini. Y la verdad es que es una renta que le va a permitir conseguir la victoria y hacer seguir y hacer seguir y que siga siendo bueno el dominio italiano aquí de los últimos años en Alpe d'Huez donde Pantani ganó el... bueno pues fíjense lo que cambia una carrera por un imbécil fíjense ustedes lo que cambia una carrera por un imbécil que se cruza a hacer una foto a lo tonto y que merece cualquier cosa pues la... The Lucinda Brunt here at the back. Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! That's a crash on the touch on the wheels. The whole team is spread as they go down, and that is out for them. Team descender herself. Ah, here's the leader, Annemiek van Vluten from the Netherlands. Well, there's enough of a gap to have put a motorbike in there now, so it must be quite significant. She's oh, oh, and van Vluten is oh, down! Oh, it's bad. It's and a, it's bad a crash. nasty, nasty crash for. <laughs> making a, a, a clear path oh. and then Richie Port collided with the back of a camera motorbike.
Balgan Mollema was down too, and there you can just, I'm just looking to see where Chris Froome is. Chris Froome must have got delayed, comes around the motorbike, but watch this again. Port is at the front making a move, and the motorbike all of a sudden stops. That's the television motorbike getting the live images. Jason Kenny and both riders slid across the line. Just digs it in just as he slid, caught the back wheel. There's uh, Evgeny Kovalev, throws his. Uh, oh, a big crash on that handsling. Well, they got that totally wrong. The handsling happened and the bike went up in the air and the big crash happened. Here you go, look at this, they're all over the place. He, Goes left and right, swings across, almost takes his partner off. The bike goes everywhere. Was impeding his challenger towards the inside. As we look at the closing stages once again, you'll see that uh, Dementiev is edging his elbow out towards uh, the Australian. As a consequence, there was an almighty pileup. Both of them, in the end, hit the ground before the finishing line. Uh, Dementiev bringing down uh, Donahoe and as a consequence both of them didn't finish the race without their bikes that meant that uh, daniel abraham gebru of the netherlands crossed the line siete conti en el 94 y buño en el 90 y en el 91 hamsting ganó entre medias en el 92 eh, consolida el éxito y el dominio italiano aquí en la línea de meta de alpegué primera plaza por tanto para giuseppe guerini y vencedor de esta etapa que repito es eh, mítica e histórica in, Das ist die Situation. Boah, Boah Sky, Sky wieder. Oh Gott. Junge, Unfassbar. ist denn der? Der wollte den Baum ausweichen, damit er da nicht drauf fährt. Und mit Juan Antonio Fletcher und Hucherland. Johnny Hucherland. Mit Salto sogar rüber. He's getting pushed all over the place. Oh, a huge crash. A massive crash. Here it is. Look at this. The Dutch rider gives him a knock and he goes straight over. The bike ends up. Bouncing and ends up nearly in front in our commentary box. Thankfully, he's okay. Sliding, he won't be able to sit down for about a week. But oh, what a crash! Well, that's uh, that's this is this is this is John Lee Augustine, I think, who's gone off the edge of the road. And he uh, let's just have a look at this one more time. He's coming around that corner. He came into the corner much too fast, straight over the top of the climb, and he's onto the shale there. He's sliding down. They've stopped at the side of the road to see how he is. He seems to be okay, but he doesn't have a bike with him anymore. Well, that is very sad. Crash. Massive crash. Pilot. Oh dear me, there's a lot of riders got to come down heavily there. That has oh. taken out an awful lot of riders at the moment.